Hey, what's up, everyone? Today, we're talking about becoming an unarmed security guard in New York State. So I'm just going to go through a little bit of information about requalifying yourself, the actual process, the application. There's some information about becoming an unarmed security guard in New York State. So if you're interested in this, it can be of good use to you. First off, you have to be 18 years of age or older. You can't have any felonies, I believe at least within seven years, but primarily you don't want to have any felonies when you apply to become a security guard in New York State. You have to have a New York State ID. You have to be legal to work in the U.S. Once you pre-qualify yourself, then you want to do the eight-hour pre-assessment course. The reason why you want to pre-qualify yourself is because the, you may have to pay for the course, and you don't want to pay for something that you don't qualify for. In some situation, you may get it for free, but you'd have to do some digging for it. I believe with uh, Workforce One, they can help you with getting it free. Now, with the eight-hour pre-assessment course, you'll learn how to secure, deter, detect, basically the regular process and procedures of becoming a security guard or being a security guard in New York State. Once you complete the course, then you can move forward with doing your fingerprints. I would say to go ahead and do your fingerprints with Identigo. The reason I say Identigo is because that's the company that is on the security guard registration application for New York State. Even though other companies may qualify to do the fingerprinting, why not go to the company that is actually on the application? That's what I would recommend. Once you do Oh, also, when you do the fingerprints, you have to make sure you use the right five-digit code so you can get the right kind of print. You don't want to delay your application. You can delay your application if you use the wrong code or if you put no code at all because you have to have a certain kind of fingerprints done to send to the application. You don't want to redo that process. And I'm not even sure if the fingerprinting is refundable if you choose the wrong one. Also, when you pay for your fingerprints, keep the receipt. You may need that as well. So once you do the eight-hour pre-assessment course, you do the fingerprints, you're going to fill out the, the New York State Security Guard registration application. You're going to send that out to the state. When you send that out, you're going to have to have your social security number on there. You're going to have to have your New York State Department of Motor Vehicles uh, identification number on the application because the state is going to use your ID number and your social security to verify your credentials, the credentials that they get from the Department of Motor Vehicles, they're going to use that for your security guard registration card. So once that process is completed, by the way, the process can take about two weeks before the state approves or deny you. If you are approved, you'll be issued a unique ID number. You can use the unique ID number to verify for employment that you are a New York State security guard because it's going to take additional time for the actual card to be delivered. So you can use that unique ID number um, in some cases for employment or to verify that you are a guard. Once that process is completed and you decide you want to go ahead and work as a security guard in New York State, you have to do also a 16-hour on-the-job training. The 16-hour on-the-job training has to be done within 90 days of employment as a New York State security guard. That's going to be to maintain your card in good standards and to stay up to date and current. Once you become a New York State security guard, you have to renew your security guard registration card every two years. Now, along with that, you have to do an eight-hour annual course. That's just to uh, brush up and make sure that you still have, um, you still know how to function as a security guard. You still know all the policies and procedures. The eight-hour course has to be done for each year. So you can either do one course each year, or you can wait till your security guard registration card is going to expire after that two-year, uh, right before that two-year period is up, then you can do both of the eight-hour annuals, as long as it's done before you send in for your renewal. Well, sorry, not for renewal. It may, as long as it's done before your card expires. So just to uh, let you know, so that's pretty much the process. Uh, once you get the card and you have to do everything that you need to do, you can work as a security officer. We'd have to patrol, guard, monitor, 
protect, support, maintain the security and safety of personnel and property by checking IDs, signing people in and out of the premises, answering and transferring telephone calls. Um, in some cases, you'd have to uh, walk around the premises and make sure you, you swipe your, your fob at the location to ensure that you, to show that you actually was at the location at the time that you were supposed to be and that all posts were covered. Um, it's a job that there's low tolerance for call outs or sleeping on a job, things of that sort, because then you wouldn't be able to guard the location. You may also have to monitor CCTVs, depending on where you're at. There's a lot of residential work, corporate work, and office buildings. There's a lot of uh, hospitals where you can do security. Um, in the shelters, you can do security. Some grocery stores and a certain a lot of locations have security, and especially in New York City, because uh, ever since 9/11, the demand for security guards has gone up, and it's still going up. And something that's happening now is security guards are all are also now being required to have the fire guard license or or documentation, um, and that's like the FO1, FO2. That, that you have to get from the Fire Department of New York, but it increases your value as a security guard. Some security jobs, they require that you have your driver's license. Some security guards, if they have their CCR, that makes them more marketable in the field as well. So it's an industry that's um, always going up. It's always getting better. It's always getting bigger. And there's a lot of uh, places to expand, such as armed guard security, armored car security, uh, bounty hunters, things of that sort, peace officers. So you can uh, grow in the field of security, but that'll be another topic. I'll, I'll do another video to tell you how you can transition from an unarmed security guard in New York State to an armed guard and go through that process with you as well. And that process is a lot more work to do to become an armed guard. The process can take up to a year, but let me just go back to focusing on being an unarmed security guard. So if you are interested in becoming an unarmed security guard and you want a little more information you can contact me don't feel don't don't um just feel free to reach out with the social media um, you can leave a comment in the video you can uh reach out to me by any form of contact that you see there and i'll be sure to help you with it if you found the information in the video helpful or you liked it be sure to like if you have any questions, comments, or anything, be sure to leave a comment. If you like the content that's on the channel, be sure to subscribe. And if you think the information might be valuable to someone else, go ahead and share it to whom you believe the video may be informational or of value to. All right, and I hope everybody has a good day. Until next time.